What's up everybody? Hey, 41Jake here. I want to make a quick video today because I've had some questions. I've been posting a little bit on LinkedIn about Kajabi. Now Kajabi is the most incredible online platform and you might think it's kind of strange that a 401k guy would be talking about an online business platform because is the 401k world online? Well, Kind of, yes and no, right? You have record keepers, which other videos I talk all about record keepers and all the different components to a 401k. But the biggest part of a 401k is the service and education. Now, if the service and education isn't being done and you're forced into quarantine or locked down in your house, like the situation we're in right now in the whole world, practically everybody is staying at home Zoomings are now happening. How do you service and educate those employees and participants and plan sponsors? How are you doing that? One of the platforms that I have figured out that's going to help me through this situation is Kajabi. And I, funny enough, I actually got involved with Kajabi before this crisis happened with coronavirus and everything. And I came across a guy by the name of Graham Cochran. He has a lot of good videos, a lot of good content. And he was using Kajabi for his online business. And he has kind of two different things he does. And the more I dug into it and kind of heard some things he was talking about and realized some of the struggles I was having and maybe some of the vision I had behind our practice, you know, we manage over $100 million in 401k business. And then we have another 400 million or so in individual business that we manage at our office. And I just, I just lead up the 401k side. So I love to work with all of our different employees and different clients and hundreds and hundreds of people kind of spread across mostly two states, but we're now expanding even bigger than that. And so what I've found is that I kept repeating myself again and again and again. I talk about what is enrollment, what's vesting, what is eligibility, all those things that I kept repeating again and felt like I was adding value to my client just because I would drive wherever they were hours away, spend half a day with their, their team and meet with people one-on-one -on -one to give them the same information again and again and again. I just felt like this was not really adding as much value as I could because most people when they're at work typically have either an understanding of their 401k or they want to talk to their spouse about it. And so it made sense to me that we need to find a way that they could share some of the things that were going on with their 401k with their spouse. And so Kajabi was the way that I could do that all in one. So what I'm going to do, I think be the most helpful for you is to dive in and kind of just show you my Kajabi and what we're doing there. So I'm going to pull up the site right here and let's go over to it here. So this is the Kajabi, Kajabi homepage and you'll see here that um, this is, it says, welcome back, Jake. This is all the different things. This is kind of the homepage. What's important for you to know on this page is this left-hand side. So inside of Kajabi, it has multiple different components to it. The first piece that I think a lot of people go to when they get excited and jump on Kajabi. Um, and again, if you want to tech, check it out, there's a link down below. It's for 28 days free Kajabi, which is double what you'd get if you went on your own. It's an affiliate link. So I would get a little bit of compensation for that, just full disclosure, but it gives you double the time to check it out. So whether you do it through that link or not, I don't care. I, I want to do this because I think it's been really valuable for our business and it's how it allowed us to scale a lot better. So what's interesting here is you can put your full website. So we've actually migrated our old website over to Kajabi and we, we purchased a new landing, uh, a new uh, URL for that too, but um, we'll get into that here in a second. But has your website it has products, marketing, and people. So there's a lot of different areas. So let's jump into the website. I think that's going to be kind of the most interesting thing for you to think through because whether you're managing your own website or you're paying someone to do it, the unfortunate problem is that the website of yesterday where we would set it up and leave it is kind of gone. If you want to rank well in Google and you want to do good and you want to reach a lot of people, your content has to be continually growing and evergreen, what we like to call it. So in here, you can actually customize a website. So let's dive into that because I think it's really interesting. Um, I don't know why my internet is just dragging today. Here we go. So this is my current True North Retire website and this is where we manage all of our, um, the whole goal of this website, honestly, is to get someone's email we or contact us. So we're not trying to, we're trying to educate them enough where they'll want to dive in a little bit more and then we can kind of connect and convert them to be a client one day. 
So in here, you've got so much customization. It's, uh, it's incredible. On this side, you can just click anywhere in here and edit. And when you do that, it's going to update. Oh, if it will, there we go. It's going to pull up on this side and you can just change whatever you want in here. So it's that easy when I want to go in and update stuff. You can scroll down, you can change different things here. There's different layouts. It's really kind of like any of those online tools that you use Wix, Squarespace, whatever. You might even be paying hundreds of dollars a month to somebody in a web developer company that's really just using one of these systems to do it for you and you can take control over it. And the benefit there I would say is that you can be much faster to situations like we're having now. I was able to link a um, a three page PDF, kind of a newsletter to this button at the top. So and people that come to our website can see kind of what we're thinking um, or employ or clients can go there. Um, so let's go back out of the website. So you can, I mean, there's just so much customization. There's a lot of stuff you can add and take away and, and it's just very robust. This one has a video going um, and it actually switches over when you're not on a desktop or laptop in your mobile, it has a different picture there. So it doesn't, lag to, to load. Um, so that's that page. One, one thing that's really cool is you can make custom pages that are basically your home page. So churnsforetire.com slash whatever, like Corona or COVID-19 or, uh, enrollment, or there's one that I'm going to make. Um, that's going to be, we have a client going through blackout and there's been a ton of questions and this coronavirus in the market hasn't caused it to be very simple. So we've been um, thinking, how can we communicate better and as things update and we get things in place? How can we tell them what's going on and give them a place? We give them a landing page. The one thing I was working on this morning was just our team page. So trueinsretire.com, there's a link at the top. You go to our team page. I realized that um, Jessica on my team had been working on this and that I hadn't the, the team hadn't been linked to their LinkedIn profiles. So I came in here this morning, a little just was sitting on my laptop looking at the site and just kind of making sure that everything was buttoned down, made some, some short tweaks as far as just getting everything looking standard across all the site. And I realized that I wanted to make sure that each of the employees on the page had a link. So if I click edit here for me, I could change a picture. So let's say I went and did new team pictures. I could change that. Um, and I have it linked to open a new window. So when you come to our site, it goes into my LinkedIn when you click on this on a separate page. Um, and you can change the overlay. You can get rid of that. You can do whatever you want there. So this, I realized AIF was down here with vice president. I bumped that up so that it was part of my name. Um, just little stuff like that, so simple, which if you were hired, hiring somebody at group to do that, it might take a day or two, which is just stupid. It took me like two minutes. So that's kind of a, a really cool thing is you can make a page for a landing page for anything and there's no limit. Like you can literally, I'm going to make a landing page for each and every client so that they're, they can come in and they can see um, what it is that's going on in their plan. And you can drop a video in, you can drop. So let's just make a new page. Let me show you what that looks like. So you click on new page. It's literally as, as open as building a whole new website, but it's inside of connected to your main URL. So you can come in here to um, new page. And when you click on that, it gives you options here. And Premiere is kind of the, the, the streamlined home that's really kind of the most um, robust way you can actually see everything. But they also have templates here that you can follow. So maybe you want to make a landing page for a certain kind of uh, special you have going on. Or maybe it's safe harbor deadline time and you want to have a page just dedicated to that to try and pull people into an email funnel um, where you can continue to send them information, kind of push them. You can put a timer in there saying the, the safe harbor deadline is up on this date. We have to know by then if you want to make a change. It's, it's awesome. You, and you can kind of really get people thinking through and making decisions and create some urgency just by having that landing page and then kind of dripping information to them to drive them back to that page and you'll have full analytics to see who's been looking at what. So here's the analytics page. You can see who's opted in and you can run different, um, you know, in the form k business, I obviously don't use this from a, uh, like a monthly service kind of fee, which is whole, we'll talk about products in a second, but there's a lot of online tools that are to do that. So there's a lot of information there. Um, the blog is really easy to update as well. 
And so that's basically a landing page. I just come in here and I add a new blog post. So we ran a webinar about COVID-19 this week. I dropped a video in here, um, added the post details, because the blog and then a separate URL. I can do some other optimization for SEO so that it will help drive more traffic to our website and get us higher rankings in Google so that when people are searching for local advisors, COVID-19, whatever it is, there, there is some, there's some help there to get you, get you that side. So the website's kind of the front end, right? Let's talk about what products are. Cause this is kind of the really fun, cool part is products. Let's go to a new product. I'll show you the different options and we've done some things. This is where a product is where you're going to have somebody log in. So if you want to actually go really robust and build out, um, something with kind of specific information, you don't want to be public, like on a landing page. Um, we've done that for some clients where they can come in here and we can put all the plan details for them and then kind of pull them into this community as well. So you can create a mini course, an online course, and think of these as um, as basically an online course. So if you were going to college or school, if you paid for one of these before, it, it's really, really cool. So let's go into one that I've already built. And you can actually have a community just like on Facebook, but not on Facebook for those people that aren't big fans of going to that platform anymore. Um, you get a hit and miss there. So let's go into like um, 401k power, for example. This was just something that I was toying with. Um, I haven't spent a ton of time on products because log having people log in has been something I'm wrestling with. Sometimes it makes things a little harder to get in. Sometimes it doesn't. You can change the this page. So when they see and they see a product, they'd come in here and they would be able to know that, okay, this is how I'm going to get in. Welcome to the course. A welcome from us. So we change this to welcome to your 401k. Let me talk about enrollment. Let me talk about eligibility. Um, bestie. And they can click through and have a video. So when you come into this, welcome to the course, it's customized so that you can add a video. You can have attachments. So you could have the enrollment paper form. You can have the link that goes into the record keeper. Um, and you can walk them through all the things that you would normally do in a 401k enrollment meeting, one on one with a lot of people, all online. Put all the work in one time and you're done. Um, and so when you get questions, you just say, hey, go right here to the site. We put it all together. So when you have time, sit down. If you have more questions, let us know. You can reach us here. And um, let's go. I'll go back here and I'll show you the one that we built for one of our clients. And we're still getting a few bugs worked out as far as enrollment. Um, we made some changes recently. But they'll be able to come in here and see. All right, here's a good example. Welcome to the 401k Learning Center. How do I enroll in my 401k plan? Let me show you what that looks like. So we'll load this up. Um, I've shot I've shot all the videos for these. I just need to upload them and, and edit them and put them in here. But you can have them click on the link when they are in the in the actual product, and they'll be able to see how do I enroll. This current plan is using Voya, and this walks them through how to enroll in their 401k. And so you don't have to do that for them individually. Of course, they can get the paper booklet that the record keeper sends out, but they'll be able to log in here and see how to do it and have a quick video from me walking them through it as well. If they're more visual, or if they want to read it, or if they want to call, if they can reach out. And once we know that they who has done it, we can actually add them to an automation when they've gone through this and we can send them an email and say, hey, how did it go? Was there any questions? Let us know. So just that extra touch that's automated. That's the key is you're trying to help win back your time without reducing your service level. That's the goal of Kajabi. So let's go over to offers. This is kind of unique because you can run different offers and that would link them into a product. So think of an offer as, hey, we would send this out to all new participants and we would drop that in so that they would receive an email at a certain time. Um, and so once they do that, it all has these numbers here because you normally be selling products at a price. And so down the road, we may offer some different um, individual wealth management advice, kind of some online coaching stuff that would be possibly discounted or free for our current 401k clients, but we would sell to the public at a price. So we would put all that extra work and effort into it. And if someone left a company and wasn't in our 401k anymore that we were managing, we could still be providing some good value that they were already receiving from us and get some money for doing that value. 
Let's talk about marketing. Let's switch over to marketing because marketing has a lot of different tools. Now we've done some Zoom, some webinars. We use Zoom to do that. Um, you can use YouTube. It, it, sometimes a little bit um, hit and miss with the connection. YouTube gets bogged down, especially when everyone's home. Um, but you can run a different webinar campaign. So when you go to truenorth.com slash webinar, when we just have our, our one last week, it will actually talk about, it's a landing page, right? We talked about landing pages and it will have the information for the next webinar. So I need to update it for our next one for this, for uh, April, but this can be completely customized so that anybody can receive that link and go in here and reserve their spot. When they reserve their spot, they're registered for the webinar and that puts them into an email funnel. What's an email funnel? Glad you asked. It's an automated set of emails that you've already written. So here's a here's an example. Thank you. Once you register for the webinar, the participant comes here and they will see, hey, welcome. We're glad you registered. We're on the list. We have your spot. Here's the email. It is personalized. It takes their first name. It has all this information about the event and the link to the webinar on the day of the event. That's my personal Zoom link and then thank you and how to get a hold of me. This is all built in. So whenever anybody goes to that, they register, they're getting pulled not only into our email list so that we continue to send out like newsletters like I did yesterday, they also will get a, a warning the day before the webinar, 15 minutes before, and then a thank you after. And if they missed it after, it's even more helpful because it tells them all right, we, sorry you missed. You can go check out the webinar recording on our blog, which drives them back to our website. So it's automating that that manual kind of check-in and that really that important handhold that needs to happen when you do an event like a webinar to help people take the next step. And maybe they need to, to jump in and um, need some personal help with their stuff. And so this is a great way to keep communication there without taking your time as an advisor. So let's get out of pipelines. The thing I did yesterday because of the coronavirus was an email campaign. And the email campaign, we put together a um, kind of a blog post. And I put it in a PDF because I just wanted people to have easy access to it. So what I did is I sent out this coronavirus stimulus package. So all the details about that, I can see how many people received it, how many opened it, how many didn't get to, I can see exactly which um, people didn't. I, all this information, it's awesome. Here's a preview of what it looked like. The emails look great. Um, let's see if it's gonna load here, here we go. So this is the email that went out. It has our logo at the top, it has a headline, it puts a name for who's it's standing to on the list. Here's my number, this button here would go into the, the three page PDF and it would tell me they clicked on it. This goes to my Calendly so that they can set up a time to visit with our team. Um, they can opt out of the emails so that we're keeping in check with all the laws and guidelines around emailing people. Um, so it's just a really, really more professional way to communicate things to your clients. And as different topics come up, this is a good way to educate people and way better than some of the others like MailChimp, all the other ones. They do a good job, but you're trying to hodgepodge all these things together. Your CRM has to talk to MailChimp. This would replace that. Your CRM, it doesn't replace your CRM. I will, I will say that. Your CRM probably does other things that um, depending on your operations, how they run. But it's it's really, really awesome. You can do so many different things. You can create an event. So that's what we did with the webinar. You create a webinar event. So let's say we get out of this coronavirus thing and we start doing events at Top Golf again or whatever, or jazz games or something. You can use Kajabi to create the event, send out the invitation, track all of your, all those invitations, who clicked on it, follow up with people that didn't opt in or whatever, um, and it's just really, really helpful. So there's a whole management here as far as how many people and, and parts of your marketing. So to kind of summarize, Kajabi really uh, just is amazing at the amount of resources and benefits that it can provide you in your practice because as you grow and scale, I've found that it's really tough to continue to provide that, that personal touch. And through video, you have the ability to really uh, keep 
kind of build that that credibility and trust with them remotely. If they're seeing you on video, they're hearing your voice, they see you around. When they do see you again in person, and maybe it's only once a year or something, instead of quarterly, whatever, like you're you're familiar to them and you've built trust and so they start to want to talk to you more and are excited to see you. That's kind of what I have found. Um, so Kajabi can really do that. Now, there's a couple different levels of Kajabi as far as pricing goes. Let's talk about that. I'll pull up Kajabi's website here real quick. And let's go back in here to the screen share as it loads. So super simple site. Again, the link below goes to a 28-day free trial. So you can just toy with it and mess around with it. And it's got a couple different levels. So you've got kind of the basic one, which you allow you to do three products and three pipelines. But you can always do unlimited marketing and landing pages, which is big. I think for most 401k advisors, this basic level would is probably the same price as what you're paying somebody just your website alone, let alone if you're paying for um, other emails, MailChimp, uh, other things, other ways of communication. You're most likely going to save some money here. Um, we, we've gone up to this level just because we're going to do a lot more products um, because we want to have kind of private information for some of our bigger clients so that they can just see it in one place. But overall, I mean, between basic and growth, I mean, Kajabi can really, really impact your business and most importantly, give you back your time. And there's going to be, I'm going to kind of break down uh, different videos about Kajabi and how I've used it for certain specific things. One of the things I'm going to make a video here in a minute about is how I am dealing with a blackout period for my clients. I've got 120 people remote now and I got to communicate with them through email. Some people aren't getting it. Some people are. I'm getting questions. No one's responding. Like It's frustrating. So I want to put it all in place. I want to be able to track who's looking at it. I want to be able to track who has um, opted in to continue to get information and create that, that closer connection to everybody. And as things shift and change and as we make adjustments to the, the plan, they know where to go. And they build, they have this place no matter where they're located. If they're traveling, they know where to go to get a hold of us, to get a hold of me, and to just be in the know. And um, it's going to be awesome. So I hope that is helpful. Uh, I've really enjoyed Kajabi and I hope that it, it brings a lot of value to you. If anything, just check it out. It's not going to cost you anything, really. It's 20 days, try it. When you do sign up for 28 days, you get a whole list of other videos um, from Kajabi that'll kind of walk you through. You One thing to think through though, and the mistake I made, is I went straight to the website building piece. Think about your practice and the services you provide and the ways that you want to communicate first, the website should come later. You probably already have a website. Leave it there for now. See what other tools inside of Kajabi you could utilize to make your business grow and be more sustainable in this new environment that we live in as far as being remote. And I think that'll be really useful. If not, I, uh, I'm glad you're here. Hope everyone has a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.